Hey everybody, Adam Savage here in my cave with my brand new, new to me, Nagra 4S field recorder. Um, there will be some Nagra builds here in the future, uh, but it starts with this one because this machine, which I bought from uh, a wonderful gentleman uh, in Sweden, uh, this is a masterpiece of a machine. I recorded another video about why this is such an important machine. There is a link to that in the description. Why does everyone point down? Do we all need to point down? We understand how this all works. Uh, I recorded another video talking about the Nagra and why it's magnificent. Link in the description. See, you can't stop doing that. Um, but today I am going to, I'm going to augment this piece of equipment to make it slightly more useful. And I'm going to do that by manufacturing a handle for this guy. Um, here is the strap. And the strap is a real straightforward. Uh, this is a strap hanger I made in about 10 minutes here. I made a pair of them and then sewed a strap of, uh, of uh, webbing through them. It needs a handle. It needs a handle, not least because you can actually prop it up on the handle, but also you can carry it around. And uh, the real Nagra handles are expensive and rare, but they utilize an oval piece of aluminum here. And after a long uh, search, that's also part of the video that's in the description, uh, I found the piece that I needed. Um, and the, the, so I'm going to manufacture a handle for this Nagra. And it's really effectively manufacturing uh, two pieces, the two arms that sit on either side of this, and then an attachment method for connecting them to this really robustly. And that's it. That's exactly what I'm making. So it should be a little bit of machine work. And uh, this is another one of those one day builds that really will happen in one day. Um, but I have a really specific goal with this one, which is I want it to feel like an authentic piece of Nagra hardware when I'm done. So I have some pictures of a real handle and I'm gonna be trying to copy some of the design features in order to make my machine piece look. Nagra, these are all built out of aluminum and they are really, really magnificent machines. Um, but boy, are they an excursion in the beauty of aluminum. So when I make this, I want it to have the same kind of love to it. I have what I think I need here. Uh, right. So I want to set the length of this handle. I happen to know that the distance between these two pieces is 13 and 1 8 inches. I'm going to double check that actually. Let's see here. I guess I could. Yeah, I guess I could do that. All right, I said it was 13 and 1 8, but in fact, wait. It is 13 and 6 64ths. 
or 3.30 seconds. Is that right? 13 and 3.30 seconds. One, two, three, yeah. 13 and 3.30 seconds. That's the distance between 13 and 3.30. Okay. So uh, then I want, okay. I'm going to keep that here because that will be useful to me. These guys can go back. So then the question is how far up? So the handle comes out to about there. Let's see here. I feel like about like that. What is that distance here? Three point two five. Let's say 3.25, 3.25 inches center to, so let's cut a couple pieces that are four inches. Oh, right. What is this diameter? Three point nine two five. Three point nine two five. 0.392. All right, 0.3. No, give or take, it's about 10 millimeters. Great sound. All right, so if it's uh, 0.392, no, 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 3.25. You know, let's make them four and then we'll go down from that. So I'm gonna make a couple of cuts on this, uh, on the table saw, uh, out of this piece of quarter inch aluminum. This will be the two side struts here uh, and I'll refine their size in a little bit. So I have two pieces of aluminum, 1.4 by four inches. These will be the side struts and when they sit upright, yeah, they're going to sit about like that, which I like. Um, yeah. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to deburr these and I'm going to take them onto the mill and make them exactly the same size. Then I'm going to mill a slot in them to receive this. Then I'm going to do a hole in them that receives this. And once I have the functionality down, then I'll actually start to shape them. Yeah, that's the order of operations, and it's all about order of operations. There we go. Deburring noises.
yeah, you are ugly, but useful. Uh, so I want to measure the middle of this. The distance I want this to travel from center, this is 1.18. One 1.18. I think this bit will be a little sharper. And we've got 0.63, 6, 0.63, this is, Five nine. Wait a minute. So it would be, Alexa, what is 1.18 minus 0.6? 1.18 minus 0.6 is 0.58. Okay, so 0.58 is the amount of distance there is left over between the width of this bit and the length of this tube. And since I want to make a slot that fits the tube, I need to drop this into the center and move it one half of 0.58, which is 0.29. Alexa, what is one half of 58? Half of 58 is 29. There it is, 0.29, 0.29. So what I need to do here is drop this bit into the center and then move it 0.29 in each direction and I'll have a slot that matches this in theory. Yeah, I like it. I like it. Uh. Okay, now we're dropping it in the center and going 0.29 in each direction. Oh, right, I need a stop on this puppy. Great. 
much better bit. Let us see how we did. That's the slot I cut. Here is what I wanted it to match. Oh, oh. Hang on. So this is 1.175. Oh, I even had it as 1.8. Yeah, okay. So that's 1.8. What is this? All right. I need to go to 0.295. There we go. Luckily, I can just slot it right back in because I have its distances all plotted out. Go. Bring this around here too. And we'll do this again. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Woo! Stop it! Okay. Um. There's that. one out too, shall we? <laughs> deeply, deeply satisfying. Okay, so now I need to make a couple of holes in there for some screws. So give me a second to pull out some screws and take a look. That's what those were for. Okay, hold on. Uh, 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 <laughs> I knew, I knew, 1032 by three quarter. I knew I had ordered some stainless number 10s and I couldn't remember why. This happens a lot with me. Number 10s, that is great. So, uh, So each one of those is just going to go in the center of a circle that it sits in. And I can just use this. Okay. So is that the last I need that bit? I think it might be. So let's put And put this back in my 30 second end mills. This can go back. This can come in. In. All right. So. Centered. That was. I'm just thinking. Now there's one measurement that I need, which is how wide the spacer between the uh, strap and handle screw. Yeah, so there's this. And the question is, how wide is that? And the answer is, if I make it a hundred thou, I am good. And what I want hmm. 
Yeah. What I want is a bit that is, yeah, six to five. Five eighths, yeah. Okay. That's a better five eighths bit. All right, so uh, if this is, oh, wait, yeah, I'm sorry. Okay, so, uh, right, I'm gonna, yeah, let's uh, bring this up. Oh, it's already up, all right, so let's do that. Whew. Yeah, that is close, I love it. So if this is 250 thousandths and I want it to go down to a hundred thousandths, that's pretty straightforward. Uh, we'll pull this out. Yep. Like that. Nope, oh, definitely not it. That goes there, that goes there, that comes here. In, in. And then bring this up. Right, now, yes, it's that side, yep. So if we bring this down and we say that that is zero, we want 150 thou, right? Yeah, so we'll lock that. Okay, so something's going on here, which is everything's fucked up. This hole, not centered. That's problematic. Also, this one too close to the bottom. So we're gonna just need to start from scratch with these. Uh, I'm gonna cut another couple of pieces. I'm gonna dial them in and uh, yeah, I know my parameters now. Sorry about that. Good, that is exactly as much, that's not bad, I could, <clears throat> yeah. All right. 
All right, I've cut this piece of aluminum. This is gonna end up being structurally a very important piece. And it is because it will go between these two things, like this. Hopefully, if I got my measurements right, this should just about describe the distance It's not bad. It's actually pretty dead on the money. All right, so we're gonna cut this out to exactly this length. Hmm, no, I'm gonna cut this side of it. Okay, I think that's really good. Now I'm gonna put this inside here. What? Yes, that's it, right? So, interesting. Let's soften that edge. There it is. Oh, right, transfer punch. First try. Okay. Oh, yeah, I guess it doesn't matter. Ooh, 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 that is nice. Oh! <laughs> A little room to move, yeah. Let's just see how this feels.
Dude, that feels fantastic. It feels authentic. It feels like just what I wanted it to feel like. So that's the functionality of the hammer, of the handle. Hammer. Oh, no, I'm going to leave that. Yeah. All right. So let's uh, remove. All right, we'll try that. Yeah. We'll try it. Let's see if we can get out of that. Uh, Hey there. Uh, so, uh, yeah, I made one big dumb mistake. <laughs> That's, yeah. One is actually a cause for celebration, I would think. Uh, I think these parts are done structurally. Two, three, yeah, all right. So, what I did was I, uh, I didn't move a pin and I ended up with this weird little jog cut, but I'm hoping that can, Kind of make it work. Um, 
I'm going to give these guys some uh, deburring and some relief, and then I'm going to uh, hit them on the on a stone surface and kind of really get them polished up. And then I think I have my uh, I think I have my handle parts. Yeah, this will be pretty neat. Keep burring. Yeah. All right, uh, I think that these parts are looking suitably, uh, suitably pro. Well, they're not perfect, but right, I'm gonna close up these guys. Oh, it feels great. Plus, it stands up by itself. Oh, yeah. Oh, dudes. All right. There she is. It moves perfectly. It moves perfectly. I feel no rattle.
none. I mean, but that's not getting it through on the microphone. And it's really strong and it's a much better way to carry this thing around than a big strap. I don't know why, but, well, I do know why. I spent a lot of money on this thing and carrying around with a shoulder strap always feels like I'm taking its life into my hands, which I am. Um, but I'm very, very pleased with how these look. Um, I don't think I quite got to the full Nagra Kudelski look, but, uh, you know, some of those space frame lightning holes, they helped. A little Tom Sachs uh, influence in there. And, uh, yeah. I know. I did the leather case. It's... I'm going to, in the next, at some point you'll see it in the leather case. I don't love that leather case for carrying this thing around. I'll be honest with you. It's not an amazing, um, it's not an amazing, it's not exactly what I thought it was. Yeah, that's the best way to put it. Um, but I'm really happy with this. I've been wanting that for a long time. Thank you guys for joining me. This was fun. I will, uh, yeah, see you next time. Bye. Hey guys, Adam Savage from Tested here. If you've ever seen the six inch ruler in inches and centimeters on my forearm and wanted one of your own, but you didn't want it to be permanent, well, today's your lucky day. You can now buy temporary tattoos of my measuring stick, my measuring forearm, uh, at tested-store.com. Comes like this, goes on in about 30 seconds with a little water. The instructions are on the back. It comes off with rubbing alcohol, and hopefully it warms you up to the idea of permanently attaching a measuring device to your body, because I use mine every single day.